Hi, this is Alessio Rastani giving this market outlook for a leading trader. Now, if you may recall, I've been banging my fist, I've been banging the table on shorting bonds really from the beginning of May. If you may recall, back over here in the beginning part of May, I said, hey, short bonds. Then when we went lower here, I said, short bonds. So seriously, I hope by now you have been short on bonds and you have been making money. Now, if you're still not short bonds, don't worry. I'm going to show you where is your next chance on getting short in this market. However, let's just recap on this and let's see why we are bearish on bonds and why I think, in fact, that bonds are going to be one of the best trending opportunities of not just this year, but for the next few years. Now, if you look on the weekly chart of bonds, let's just go on that and let me just show you that. Bonds have been, of course, in a major bubble for quite a few years. And so let's just write them down. We'll write down our reasons. From a fundamental perspective, so from a fundamental perspective, bonds have been in a bubble. All right. Number two, Ben Bernanke, of course, came around, uh, as you know, back in May and said, hey, you know what? We're going to taper and end QE, the bond buying program, uh, by 2014, perhaps even this year. Number three, of course, Bill Gross, that's the bond king. Okay, so Bill Gross came along and said, you know what, bonds probably topped back in April of this year. And number four, we've broken through some key support levels. I mean, we are here, but we've broke this major key support levels here at 139. And number, so that's uh, support break. And number five is we have a very nice head and shoulder top pattern. If you look at the if you look at the weekly chart of TLT, that's the 20 year treasuries, okay, you will notice that we have formed this kind of head and shoulders top pattern that you see here. And in fact, we've broken through the uh, neckline on this head and shoulder pattern here. So, certainly on the long term side, I do like, let me just go back to uh, chart of bonds. On the long term side, I do like bonds short. However, in the short term, I do expect some sort of a rally, some sort of a bounce back to resistance levels. So if you haven't managed to get short on bonds yet, here's your next opportunity. What you want to do really is to establish short positions and look for a rally back to either the 21 period moving average, which is at 137, 23, and 32 seconds, or if we're lucky enough, now I don't know we're going to get back to these levels uh, or not. But certainly, if we can get back to this break of support level here at about 139, 15, and 32 seconds, that would be great too to establish some short positions on bonds. And of course, do use a white stop to allow for the volatility. So, I mean, I'd use a stop loss of just above here. Now, for those of you who are not comfortable with the idea of shorting anything, what you could do instead, so instead of shorting, what you could do is just go and buy ETFs in TBT. And TBT is just the inverse of bonds. So when bonds go down, then TBT will go up in value. But for me personally, I would just short bonds on my ETX account. For more information about trading the markets, whether you're a beginner or advanced trader, visit my website, leadingtrader.com. Thank you.